Alex here, and today we are going to be reviewing the Scale Trains uh, Museum Quality Big Blow Turbine. Um, so let's get right into the video. Alright everyone, we now have this engine out of the box, and you can see it's a pretty big locomotive. It took a little while to get out, uh, three pieces. Probably gonna stay out now, once it's out, because it's out, and I don't feel like taking it out again. Um, simple like that. So, let's start with the review, uh, from the front. So, um, taking a look at this engine, we have two grabs here, the Union Pacific logo, um, or Union Union Pacific, <laughs> written in red. Um, then the logo with the wings. Uh, we have a number board on either side. Which says X eight dash eighteen. Um, I'm not sure if it's lit up or not. I tried running it. Don't know how to figure it out. Went into the instructions. Didn't really see, really see anything. But of course, I just skimmed through it. Um, we have two marker lights here and here. Um, which you can cycle between yellow, green, and red. Uh, the main headlight here stays one color, of course. Uh, we have coupler with a steel tip air hose. Uh, I don't know, windows with a windshield wiper uh, applied on either side. Um, rotating it, looking towards the front of the engine. Uh, we have number 18 here. We have a door on either side. It's not just any door, though. That's the catch. Look at that. You can open it up. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, that's not going to work either. Yeah, so pretty much you can just open it up. And you can keep it open if you press it in. Which I don't want to do because I don't want to ruin it right now. Can do that. Amazing feature. You got the Union Pacific Railroad logo, Union Pacific bold and red. Um, we got the trucks, which are super detailed. Uh, you have the springs. Um, I'm so bad at trucks. All right, so yeah, you have the trucks, which are great detail. Um, you have the ladder um, on either side, but the thing about the other side is. Uh, there's a setting called night mode. What night mode does is it lights up, I think it's this side, and then the passage here, this lights up um, during night mode. It's pretty much so the workers can see where they're walking. We have grates here, which are see-through, They are, which you can actually see. It's just amazing, blows my mind. Um, you have the fuel tank, um, gauge... Um, things like that. Moving towards the back, we have a door. Uh, doesn't open or close. Not surprising, though. Uh, we have a bunch of cables and such. Uh, two more silver tip hoses. And then a coupler, of course. Um, it's just about the same on the other side, but I'm going to flip it over. Because it's got a little more detail. It's got grabs on this side, um, accordingly to the paint scheme, so it goes from gray- oh! It has grabs on this side, it goes from gray to a single red one for the red stripe, and then yellow, um, number 18 of course, and then we turn the camera over here, we have more grabs, um, moving towards the top of the engine. There is a horn towards the middle, um, different from other variations of the locomotive. Um, it was moved in the newer ones. Got a bunch of vents and whatnot, things like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it for the A unit. Alright, so we're gonna bring the B unit up here. Um... See if we can. There we go. Oops. All right. So we have the Union Pacific emblem grabs doors that don't um open and close. We have sliding doors here though that open and close. 
can see the inside of the loco. But four of them, I believe, yeah, on either side. So it's kind of cool. Allows you to see the inside of it. And then you have grabs here, here, and here. Um, super detailed trucks um, on that side. And then you have a walkway on the top. Uh, 18B written on it. Some more doors. Um, that's about it for this side. Alright, so when we rotate it to the other side. Um, I'm disorientated now. I don't know. So I can go do something. I hope this is the other side. Should be. I don't know. Um, uh, same thing. Sliding doors. Uh, crap. Um, well, four sets of sliding doors. Two with grates. Um, grates here. Uh, three different sides of grabs with ladders. Um, another door which isn't open or closed with a ladder. Uh, same thing over here. Another door that doesn't open or close with a ladder. Um... But on this engine, at the top, we have a walkway. Um, so for access, things like that. And then we have the jet engine here, which is the powerhouse, the locomotive. Um, then this light right here. Uh, it also lights up when you have night mode on. Uh, it's a path for between the tender, things like that. Um, that's mainly why that light's there. Same thing on the front side. Um, and then we have the tender, uh, gas tender, um, there's, uh, another scale train, uh, tender, which isn't museum quality, it's just the rivet counter, uh, the difference between these are just subtle details, like, this one has chains, so you can tell, um, I think these lights turn on, um, large walkway at the top, of course, um, detailed trucks, um, ladders on either side, for getting up and then this light here it only turns on when you actually um when you go in reverse with the locomotive so that's kind of like field of view things like that so um that's about it for the review of the locomotive so let's get right into the running of it now that we are here at the temporary loop i have my nc power cab um the engine's already programmed to number 18 so Let's get this thing started. Um, I also grabbed the user manual because I'm gonna forget it. I'm definitely gonna forget it. So when, um, give it some speed to start up because it actually needs power. So now that we know it's running and connected, um, we can go F8, which is the motor on the A unit. Hear that starting up. Um, once that started up, we can hit F3, waiting for this, <laughs> oh gosh, um, so we're gonna hit F3, which is the B unit startup. It's that locomotive, so now that those two have started up, we are going to go shift 10, which is the back headlight for when it goes in reverse. Um, we just want to have that on. We're gonna set headlight. That's not headlight, that's horn. Um, okay, so we have the headlight on now, and then we are going to go class lights, which is six. Those were the ones that I were talking about earlier, which changed the color. So they're yellow now. Click it again for red. Click it again for green. Uh, ah, and then yellow. So now that we have that, we have the horn. And then the bell. It's kind of hard to hear. Um, so it's all programmed on the same decoder, so you don't have to worry about speed matching it or anything like that. We're gonna give it some speed. Um, this is five speed here. Um, you can. I don't know. Nothing much is happening. You can hear the little change in the sound. Um, this engine also has, when it's going around the corner, has the brakes squeaking, which is really nice. So we're going to give it some speed. We're going to put it up to 15. It's not the fastest engine because of what I've mentioned before, power. Um, so that's a hazard, kind of, not really. It's not enough power. Uh, you can see it coming around the corner. It has two different headlights. Um, so yeah. 
Um, so now my dad's gonna turn off the lights and I'm gonna show you night mode, which is F5 and I can't see anything now. That's great. All right, so now you can hit them. Um, you can turn off the lights now. All right, so if we click F5 uh, here, you can see the light for the corridor turned on. Down the other side, there's a light. Um, so the workers see how they get on. Uh, we got the front lights on, the number board, which is great. Um, we're gonna give it some speed, bring it around, so then we can put it in reverse. Um, very epic. Uh, two lights. Uh, this is the locomotive, actually. There's nothing there other than some lights. So then we're gonna hit reverse. The rear light turns on right there, and the between the B and C unit, uh, that light turns on. So pretty much, in total, we have the uh, front headlights, which is the very far or left light that you see, the in between the A and B unit, um, the middle lights or middle left light, that's what you see, um, and then mid right is between the B and C units, and then the rear light is for the oil or the gas tender or the C C unit. Um, so that's about it for the review and running. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.